So now here, <coughs> see now when when we go for the uh, this is what carbon thirteen chemical shift is table. Uh, this help us to uh, identify the peak and uh, correlate the value on of the chemical shift of the peak with the type of carbon. You see here, आप देखोगे यहाँ पे ये forty to eighty की range में क्या रहा है? When the carbon having the electronegative atom attached to it, it will it goes to the this range. Similarly, if other halogen atoms, uh, other electronegative atoms such as other if chlorine रहते हैं, bromine आते हैं, that will also give you the idea that uh, the range forty to eighty overall we can say is for those those carbons. Very simple idea. This 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 box, those compound. In which the carbon is having heteroatom, either oxygen, chlorine, bromine, or even nitrogen also. Nitrogen they have not given here, but you can include in this range. So this goes to uh, from this goes from 40 to uh, 80. More uh, means you can take the direct uh, big range 40 to 80 means fall in this range. And those carbon which are not uh, having uh, directly attached uh, heteroatoms, so us me kya dekhenge ham? We we can we can say that. Uh, such such carbons which are not having the heteroatom which को नहीं रहता है उनकी range कहाँ होती है पचपन या पचास means below sixty होती है below sixty होती है below fifty होती है ये practically तो fifty के नीचे आता है जब हम इसको फिर भी इसने क्या दिया वो extreme cases में it it can it goes to the sixty but not high more than that similarly when we talk about the that carbon which is sp three का sp hybridized triple bond Uh, whether it is for attached to the carbon carbon triple bond or carbon 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 nitrogen triple bond so that you must remember this very uh, the transition uh, values between this other carbons and this uh, carbon with the sp2 hybridized iske baad mein sab sp2 carbon milte hain ye sp sp3 hybridized carbon hai kaha tak 80 tak and or 65 we range thoda overlapping ho raha hai isme and in this very small area a range that is 65 90 that is for sp hybridized carbon and after that you will find all sp hybridized carbon very clear idea you can divide the this carbon scale on the basis of hybridization of carbon also ye chemical shift ki jo scale hai na you can do it see there are many approaches are we can apply to understand the idea so sp3 hybridized ka range kahan tak hai 65 80 tak hai ऐसे याद रखिए सिक्सटी फाइव सिक्सटी फाइव तक ही जाता है एक्चुअली उससे ज्यादा मिल जाता है सो वी कैन से द एस पी थ्री हाइब्रिडाइज कार्बन वेदर इज अटैच टू इलेक्ट्रोनिगेट आइटम और नॉट इट्स रेंज इज गोइंग अप टू दी सिक्सटी फाइव और अराउंड दैट एंड फ्रॉम सिक्सटी फाइव टू नाइनटी इज अ वेरी स्मॉल रेंज शार्प रेंज फॉर एस पी थ्री फॉर एस पी हाइब्रिडाइज कार्बन एंड फॉर एस पी टू हाइब्रिडाइज कार्बन So it is start from hundred to onwards we can say. So see after hundred to two twenty or beyond that you will find only sp two hybridized carbon. You see, in this all carbons are sp two hybrid. You can see right here. See, so have a very simple approach. Sp two carbon if you find in the molecule or if you given is the number um, is values are given for carbon thirteen. If their values are above hundred, clear cut you can say. the carbon must be sp2 hybridized and if you find the values in this range below 100 that is 90 or around 90 and uh, 90 to 865 that is for sp hybridized means very rare compound will uh, contain who contain this contain this carbon carbon triple bond so very less chances are there for this peak and below that means below 65 you will find that the carbon is sp3 hybridized so like this see like this then further you can divide Above 100 sp2 means sp2 again are of two types carbon carbon sp2 double bond sp2 and carbon oxygen double bonded sp2 so you will say that the carbon double bond oxygen they goes to the higher value so like this you can uh, set the values or your data uh, table okay so uh, this is the example before you see all are sp3 hybridized so you can apply the value all are sp3 hybridized see Every every carbon is sp3 hybridized. So what you can say? What you can say for this? One minute. Uh, yes, let us go for this. Okay. So now, so you see here, all all carbons are sp3 hybridized. 
so what do you say what is the scale range what, what you can say the scale range would be okay what would be the scale range so you can say that see uh, this carbon will go to 80 this carbon will uh, give the signal okay this carbon will appear would appear this carbon around the 65 or 60 range and this carbon will appear at a very lower uh, value so you can see here see see around 60 right yes so 65 is very uh, means if two three two oxygens are there then it will go above, beyond 60 and be, below the 80 like this so you can uh, by using this idea we can explore our conception further this is the table uh, again uh, scale which can tell you the highest value only for three compounds then aldehyde above 190 you see above 190 aldehyde ketones and alpha beta ketones. so you must remember this value you must memorize these values which are of very much importance okay let us go for the types of carbon spectra which is our main part of this discussion see there are five types of spectrum whenever we have a sample with you and you you first go for the uh, proton nmr spectrum detection and then if you are uh, using it for the carbon 13 spectrum so you will find that uh, there are five types of spectroscopy or five type of spectrum you can get for carbon 13 so one of them is coupled carbon 13 spectrum another is off resonance decoupled third is broadband decoupled and fourth fifth this fourth or oh, sorry sixth oh, six there are six okay uh, fourth is what apt carbon 13 spectrum and this depth okay depth one this is actually uh, there are this is the fifth one and this is the sixth one okay fine yes see so here you see uh, this uh, what is the meaning of coupled when we have a sample with us and we are uh, trying to uh, get the spectrum for our compound carbon current spectrum so you will get the highly uh, complex or the spectrum in which the each carbon atoms types of carbon atoms or sets of carbon atoms will split with the uh, will couple with their nuclear couple with the hydrogens uh, uh, which are directly bonded to the carbon and which are in the neighbor so for example if you say the uh, bromoethane or uh, bromoethane or ethyl bromide so you see there are two carbon and the ch2 will split as how by n plus one group similar principle is very similar to the proton nmr okay n plus one rule splitting pattern is n plus one rule will be followed by this compound we will see example no problem another uh, type of uh, spectrum you can uh, get from carbon 13 instrument is what the splitting uh, that off resonance decoupled carbon 13 what is the meaning of this off resonance decoupled in this the splitting n plus one rule and signal will appear with, because of coupling between the protons which are directly attached to the protons to the protons which are directly attached to the carbon okay so remember this point yes it is only for those uh, uh, off resonance decoupling is in this what we do we remove the coupling which are long range coupling is removed in off resonance so only those coupling is observed in which the directly attached proton or we can say other atoms also uh, will split into the signals fine third is what broadband decoupled carbon -thread. in this all type of coupling is removed so we can say complete Sir, decoupling. yes yes sir. yes sir one minute. Okay, right. So now, okay. See here. <clears throat> there are six types of uh, spectrum we can collect from, we can get from the
NMR spectrum, NMR is instrument that is what the coupled, completely coupled means the carbon will couple or split with, with the directly attached proton and neighboring protons. Another is off resonance decoupled carbon spectrum. In this, what we will do, we can we say that okay, that long range coupling is uh, removed only those coupling between the, the carbon and hydrogen uh, in which the hydrogens are directly attached to the carbon means CH, CH2, CH3, only three types. Broadband decoupled means in this all the coupling, these are long range coupling and directly bonded hydrogen coupling is avoided and uh, we will get single singlets. Only carbon peaks are appear as a singlet in the spectrum. And fourth type of spectrum is APT. There is a attached proton test carbon 13 MR spectrum. It's a special type of technique or experiment we perform in the MR spectrum uh, instrument. So in this, what will you say? It is uh, similar to broadband. This is similar to broadband coupled spectrum, but two types of peak, positive and negative peaks. See, means broadband coupled means broadband means uh, total decoupling of the sp uh, splitting, total decoupling of the proton and carbon. Single would appear, but it is similar to broadband. But what is there? Two types of peaks are positive peaks and negative peaks. Means upward peaks, downward peaks. Okay, we will see this. And the next type is depth carbon 30 distortionless enhancement polarization transfer. It's a one type of technique or experiment we perform in the carbon 30 spectrum uh, instrument. And what is this similar to APT, but only one important difference would be there that is about the quaternary carbon that peak will not appear in the depth. Technique. And another is the inept carbon 30 nanometer spectrum. This is also more or less similar to APT DPT, but a small change, right? So now there are few examples before you. First, we should have an idea that these, these compounds or any given compound, how many how many signals? First point we should know this. So yes, who will tell what about this? Kidney signal thing is carbon 13 meters, anyone? Or how many carbons are there? Yes. So basic is important. Haan, sir, 17 na. Dekhe, ye, ye molecule mein jo na, this is the highly symmetrical. Kaisa? We cannot cut this molecule across this bond. If you are going to cut this molecule like this, so these two carbon CH2, CH2, but this side will have CH2 and carbon. And if you are you are going to cut like this, agar isko aap aisa cut karte ho, ye aisa aur ye aisa. So, ye bhi equally part divide ne hoga. Right? So, in this, we can say the total molecule is uh, asymmetric. Therefore, we can expect seven signals. Okay. But here, in this case, you see here, agar if you cut this molecule, so it is give you two equal parts. You see. Sorry. Ne, Sir, symmetry yes, symmetry right? Okay. So, here, there are uh, this said six member and here five member. So it's a highly asymmetric. So how many signals we can expect? So total total molecules is asymmetric. Therefore, we can say that uh, six and uh, this is four. Ten and one, two, three, four. Ten plus four. Means 17, right? 17 ka logo ne? So 17 signals are expected from this. Right? What about this? What about this? Eight, one one signal. signal. What about this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five signals. One, okay. Five signal. Anyone? Other than five? Yes. There are only you can cut this into equal parts. So one, two, and this is three. There are only three possible signals. So five is not. Only. What about this? What about this? 
there is a there is symmetry in this molecule 1 again we can say here 7 7 7 yes yes so 7 yes so like this we should have idea first how many signals you are expecting so theoretical idea will always will always help us to find out the correct spectrum so now see let us go for the first spectrum there is a coupled spectrum and we will try to understand how the coupled spectrum is appear for all any given compound for example see this is the compound before you this compound is uh, <coughs> see here in this molecule these six carbons are totally different from each other so six signals come from the cyclic cyclic hexene ring sir nine signals yes methyl will also give a signal so seven this is, ch will also give eight and this u2 ch3 yes, uh, nine signals but spectrum appear like this see. and two very broad peak broad peaks are there okay very because proton coupled means what is the meaning of this you see here you take any proton for example you see if you take this carbon the ch3 these are same so they will couple by n plus 1 rule with a directly attached carbon so what you will say ye jo carbon hai yahan ka ch3 se couple hunga and n plus 1 rule means four lines four, and four, four, four. yes yes four, four, four. वो तो डायरेक्टली कपल हो गया है लेकिन वो इससे भी कपल होगा किससे नेबरिंग ये इससे और कॉर्टेट जो आया वो किसमें स्प्लिट होगा टू लाइन में स्प्लिट होगा यू सी यस डब्लेट में स्प्लिट होगा एंड लाइक दिस एक्चुअली और मीन वाइल क्या मिलेगा आपको ओवरऑल आपको ऐसा ब्रॉड पीक मिलेगा ये देखो ब्रॉड पीक है इसका मतलब ये कि ये हाईली कपल्ड स्पेक्ट्रम है सो सी यू कैन नाउ फ्रॉम दिस वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स स्पेक्ट्रम कैन वी डिटेक्ट द पीक्स फॉर कार्बन नो हम हार्डली इसका बोल सकते हैं ये इसका या इसका कि ये दिस दिस कैन बी दिस कार्बन समय बट वी कैन नॉट लेवल द सिग्नल्स विद दिस कार्बन राइट सो दिस इज अ very complex spectrum that is called as coupled carbon the spectrum right what do you say for off off resonance off resonance decoupled carbon the spectrum means what is come milia hai propane see we have taken this one propanol here we will take an example one propanol is like this see you see this one what do you say for this what do you think for this how many sets of proton one set two set sorry three. Car carbon three signals so what is the spectrum this is the off resonance so off resonance means what is the meaning of off resonance yes what is the meaning of off resonance yes anyone what is the meaning of off resonance means this carbon This carbon, which is having how many proton here? Is four here? Two. Two protons. So that carbon will couple with this directly bonded proton by. Directly plus. bonded. So what is the result? How many signals? Two plus how many neighboring protons are there? Directly bonded proton to this carbon. Two. So two. Two, two plus one equal to. Plus two. Three. Three signals in this triplet. You see, this is the triplet. You are getting this point, yes. And what is the value? It is about the between this we can say sixty or sixty-five around, right? Similarly, what about this carbon? What about this? It's an off resonance. Remember this. अगर ये if this would be the coupled resonance तो क्या होता? ये triplet फिर किससे कपल होता बोलो? इसके neighboring protons से ये neighboring कितने protons से? दो protons. दो. Yes. तो अभी कपल हुआ क्या? No chance. No chance is there. So now you tell. अभी ऑफ रेजोनेंस मीन्स ओनली कपलिंग बिटवीन द डायरेक्टली अटैच्ड प्रोटॉन्स नाउ यू टेल मी व्हाट अबाउट दिस कार्बन नाउ हाउ इट विल कपल बाय n+1 रूल एंड हाउ मेनी सिग्नल्स यू विल गेट यस ट्रिपलेट 
triplet and this triplet. is you see this is triplet you see right yes yes what about this ch3 how it will couple quartet quartet and you get it quartet you get it so its value is very less you see around 15 we can say around 15 16 This uh, second, this one give up here. It's around twenty-five, like this twenty-five, twenty-six, and this is will definitely the presence of this oxygen attached to the carbon. This value goes to sixty above sixty around, right? So this is what about the difference between the off resonance decoupled carbon atom spectrum and the coupled carbon atom spectrum. We can go further. For example, see, uh, let us go for another example. See now, what is it? Uh, you must remember this point: the splitting only due to the protons, which are directly attached to the carbon. One C, triplet, triplet, quartet. So, see, based on this, you should be able to uh, draw the groups also. If if there is such a off resonance, such a, and they have given you triplet, so what you will say for this? Suppose off resonance is there, and they have given you this triplet, quartet, triplet, doublet. So, for triplet, which group you will draw? It is fast. CH two. Very good. What about for quartet? CH three. You see here. And what about for doublet? CH. And if there is a singlet, if there is a singlet in off resonance, see what I am asking you. Yes. If I am asking you, off resonance, you must remember off resonance means long range coupling are neutralized. Long range coupling only those coupling will be observed in which. The hydrogen is directly attached to carbon. Okay, right. So must remember this point. Okay, let us go for uh, broadband decoupled. You see, this is the off resonance decoupled. इसके पहले देखा हमने coupled and what is the broadband? Broadband means every coupling is what you see for this molecule. Now see. No, गन नहीं बात. गन नहीं बात. गन नहीं बात. Yeah. Yes. Okay, fine. So you see here. You see here, this molecule we have seen in the beginning. I mean, a uh, few slides before we have seen this molecule, and we we found that there is a there was a complex spectrum, right? Yes or no? Yes. For what? The first type of spectrum. Now here, a broadband decoupled means every coupling is cancelled or uh, means neutralized, whether it is a directly attached proton or long range proton coupling, and you will find that very beautiful spectrum is appearing here, right? You see. Right? Yes. And remember, uh, whenever we have a spectrum, so that is a broadband spectrum. We इसको इसी को लेते हैं, दूसरा नहीं लेते हैं. Or sometimes they will give in problems. Problems में देंगे आपको big off resonance भी कपड़. लेकिन जो practice में use करते हैं laboratories में industries में they use broadband भी कपड़ spectrum. So now you see uh, how many carbons are there? Nine carbons. You will get nine protons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right? That's all. so this is what about the uh uh car broadband decoupled carbon threaded spectrum okay we are expecting for this one okay that's all so if you move for the next slide so uh see here about broadband decoupling uh, spectrum okay uh, so broadband mein kya karte hain Every coupling is uh, neutralized whether it is for directly attached proton or long range coupling is avoided. So this results in the complete decoupling of the protons and only carbon peaks are seen in the spectrum. Okay. So what is the benefit? The spectrum becomes simple. And what is the loss in this uh, such type of spectrum? Yes. Information about what? How many protons are coupled with the carbon that is lost? 